and gentlemen, my name is Purple. Welcome to Bradman. This is episode three of the Bradman series. And we are still this chick. I have a few quests to do. Should we head out and actually get some done? I think we've got a bit of a tour going on so far. Turn the light on. Uh, hope you don't mind sharing. We're pretty tight on space here. <laughs> Alan's been saying we should move to someplace bigger. But my dad's a carpenter, and he says we could build like a dorm room or something to get more space. We How certainly can. Do you have here? I think you've met just about everybody, except maybe my brother and my dad. They're out scouting for supplies, I think. I haven't heard from them in a while. Let's see. How do you feel? Somebody took a weed whack in my fucking head. We may have something here for the team. I'm more concerned about this fever. It could be a sign of infection. We'll need to get Dr. Hansen out here. I'll see if I can get him on the radio. Thanks, I uh, appreciate the hospitality. Do not forget to entertain strangers, for by so doing, some have unwittingly entertained angels. Ah. That? I might be an angel. I'm sure we're still following this woman. Guard tower up there. Look, it. I didn't want to say this in front of your friends, but fever is a bad sign, especially after a bite. Pastor was going to try and get Doc Hansen to come down and take a look at him, but if he doesn't get some antibiotics, he's probably not going to make it. Oh dear. If it comes to that, I promise Alan will take care of him. Bullet to the brain before he turns. It's for the best. Jesus, Lily, he's not a rabid dog. Don't you get it? More of us didn't make it than did. We can't be soft-hearted about this. Not anymore. We need medicine here anyway. You can't be sick. You understand? No one can be sick. <laughs> okay. So that's it. Huh? Psychotic. Nice to meet you. Would you prefer to be shot in the face or kicked out on your asses? No, it's... Okay, look. We're barely hanging on here as it is. Medicine was some of the first stuff to run out. We don't have any to spare for your friend. I'm sorry. It's just the way it is. What if I find some more? Will that pay our rent? Yeah. Okay, sure. If you can find a place to get more medicine, I'll make sure your friend has a place to stay. His name is Ed. I know. If you need to resupply before you head out, check the locker. Ooh. Nobody minds if we're getting shit done and you need extra stuff. Just don't take shit you haven't earned. Dump this there. Dump this there. I'm here. Oh. You lost me. There's a cell tower behind the swine and bovine. From up there, you should be able to get a good look at the town. 7.6. Bought some place to find medicine. Appreciate it. Just hurry, okay? I'm not sure how long I can rain Alan in. Damn it. Okay. Let's get our other dude, because we should really be playing as this guy the whole time. Can we play as him? No, nope, we can't actually play as him yet. So, as it stands, whilst with this girl, it is literally the first time anything dies. So, if this girl was to die, then that is the Bradman series over, because I'm not really supposed to be playing as this girl. I, <laughs> I don't really know why I picked her, but I did. So, are we going to take a vehicle, or are we going to? We can probably walk that. Yeah, we can walk this. Can't see any d zombies, although it is pretty dark. Let's turn Why'd this. Up at the church, anyway? Jeez, I don't know. At first, it just seemed like the place to go, you know. End oh, of the there's world a zombie. And all that. Then we started hearing about how bad it was getting. Other people tried to go it alone and ended up. Well, we just sort of stayed here after that. Just the six of you. So if we're going to assassinate this zombie. There used to be 12 of us. Probably not, as he's fucking spotted us, isn't he? Has he? No, he hadn't. <laughs> Alright, there was a horde. That way, I believe. I'm gonna pretty much leg it. Oh, 
got any melee weapons? Yes, we do. Okay, cool. Right, here is the stash. I need a breather. Alright, how do we get in here then? We can sneak in the back way, or we can uh, go straight through the front door. But I'm thinking. Oh, we're going to the top. Oh, okay. I see. We're going towards the tower. I thought we were actually. Like um, vantage point up there. Yeah, it's my apologies. I thought we were actually going to go get some medicine. <coughs> I'm assuming we're going to find a doctor's up here, see if we can get some anti buys. If not, then Ed's pretty damn screwed. <laughs> okay. Made it. Gonna look around now. I see some place worth a scavenging run. Hey, what's that? Looks like a vet's office or something. Oh yeah, Dr. Gilroy's clinic. What about it? Well, antibiotics for dogs aren't any different than antibiotics for people. And it looks like no one's broken in. That's a good idea. Okay, sounds like it's worth checking out. Hey, hang on. I've got a transmission coming in, I think. That's got any room at the end? You might want to go check it out. I'm sending Alan and Sam to meet you at the clinic. Alan. Gee, thanks. It was that, or let him stay here and keep grumbling about kicking you and Ed out. Point. What? That's a lot of zombies. Ooh, zombie hold. Hey, I think that place is inhabited. Is that everywhere? There we go. Uh, oh. Looks like that's all there is to see. Okay. All right, how do we get down here without dying? Okay, cool. Wee That's what I'm talking about. Right. So I'm assuming we're gonna go oh fucking out. Yeah, I'm assuming we're gonna go saved or get some uh antis first, if possible. There are zombies behind me. I'm not sure where they were all coming from, but there is quite a few of them. Actually, isn't this how to... There we go. Oops! <laughs> I tried to assassinate that person, it did not work. Balls. Got no stamina left. Some of that. There is some, apparently something right here, but I can't see it. Considering it's not w moving, it doesn't matter. There's some stuff inside that boat. What the? Smegging out. out. You're gonna die, and your friend's gonna die as well. Just because it's that night does not mean that uh, crazy stuff doesn't happen. Do me a favor and don't come driving up like a dumbass. What Alan's trying to say is cars make noise. Beds like noise. Plus, they don't exactly go. Better deal with this first. You were saying? <laughs> Plus, they don't exactly go on trees, and we only got so much fuel to keep them running. So we gotta be careful about when we use it. Well, we uh, didn't bring car. Showed up. Let's get this show on the road. You're the newbie, so you get a bust in the window. 
the door will make less noise. Or, hey, you could do it like a total fucking idiot. Up to you. Just get us inside. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Take this. Gonna need it soon. Huh? Uh. Nice. <laughs> All right. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna break in through the window like a fucking idiot, or are we gonna go for the door? I'm thinking, for the time being, we keep this nice and cosh. Oh crap! Okay, well, I didn't make any noise, so that's fine. All right, hop to it. Let's get this done and get the hell out. Try to keep the zombies outside, huh? And who the hell put you in charge? How about years of experience on the beat, huh? How's that grab you? I didn't realize the Department of Fish and Wildlife counted as a beat. Laugh if you want. I'm still the only law enforcement officer on duty in this town. Yeah, and if we gotta deal with any zombie trout, you'll be the first motherfucker I call. I hope you're a motherfucking piece of shit. What's wrong? There's a hole in the fucking rust bag. So tape it shut and keep loading. Oh shit. On our right. I assume it's my job to keep them out. I'm not gonna use my gun. Don't make too much noise. There's too many zombies! Hoof it, people. Stay low and stay quiet. It's bad enough we gotta make this charity run. Let's not waste all our damn ammo to boot. I'm actually gonna try and salvage some stuff to take back to base with me. Like that. I'm loaded up. See you back at base. Roger that. We'll be waiting. Go. I don't want to drop the rucksack. Heads up. We got zombies coming in. We do walk extra slow though with the bag. Shit. Oh, bollocks. Okay, well, we don't have a weapon, bollocks and things. Oh, crap. Zombie hood. Turn the light out. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, there is a zombie hood over there. I can, can I see him from here? Over there. I'm not totally sure. There's one dead ahead of us as well, apparently. Ah, uh, there's a zombie horde. Excuse me, all the hell for trying to keep a newbie alive. Alright, we're gonna have to try and assassinate this dude. That was not quite an assassination. Okay, it's getting light. That's pretty good. Let's try and make it back before we die. Stay alert. I could. But it's not silence, I don't think. So I'm not going to bother wasting it. Just quickly, do I have... I do have a silencer. Oh, that's what he gave me. Okay. Uh, attach. Watch behind us. I'm assuming it's attached. Just had a tester. I think I shot a uh, teammate with that one. There we go. Okay, this is silence. You can see the silence on the gun. But, uh, still makes a hell of a noise. Okay, we just walk this way very slowly. If nobody comes out of the building, we should be fine. There's a zombie going into that building, so if we cut this way. Hey, that's my favorite car in the game. Oh, 
Alright, this time. Motherfuckers! These shit rucksacks coming apart at the seams. At this rate, I'm gonna lose half this shit before we get home. I'll go find us a ride. No, goddammit! Cars are too dangerous. Just leave it. Kiss my ass, Alan. Lily needs these meds. Fuck you. Get your ass back here, oh. Alan. <laughs> Alan! Fuck your dick. Oh, damn it. Fucking kill you. Come on, let's find a ride and get this shit home. So naturally, I hate that guy. But Cover me. that does mean we get to ride in my favorite car. Yeah, this truly is my favorite car in the game. It is pretty damn awesome. So, Alan, huh? Yes. He's a shithead, but look on the bright side. He's only about half as stupid as he looks. Turn the lights off so that nobody. Not half bad in the fight. Thanks for the ride. We'll take it from here. Okay. Now let's go drop off some supplies. We got this. It is getting nice and light, so the next Bradman series should be in the light. Obviously, I can't control the day and night cycles. It is the way this game works. We got to cycle for Foster Mind Lily. I didn't see any of that meth or whatever. Hey, you said we were getting antibiotics for Ed. Relax. We got those too. What the hell is going on here? Uh, okay, look. I've got this condition. Lupus. It's chronic. No cure. Without medication, your friend needs antibiotics. I need medication. Oh, look at this prick. Sent you to a place you might find both. So, you used me. I didn't see. Just let me know when you find the doc. I'm actually fine with them using me. We were going there anyway. What was the fucking problem? <laughs> there you go. Don't say I never gave you anything. Hmm, what you got? Oh, you know. Stuff. Stuff. All right. Codeine, put that in there. Uh, okay, we've got all of that. Awesome. Well, this has been the Bradman episode three. I'll actually go and activate the other blokes so that we we're legit this time. We're our dude, and if he dies, he dies. But uh, yeah, this has been Bradman episode three. I'm Purple. Thanks so for watching. I've been thinking about a lot of stuff lately, and something occurred to me. Maybe no, we didn't. Swat. Wait, what? I mean, when it comes to long-term survival. Like, I've got my dad's old notebook, and I'm sure some people here have at least worked on a farm. But if we had reference material, we could do a whole lot more. Yeah. Sound like good? Well, since we don't have the internet anymore, I'm thinking we should start assembling a reference library. Books on gardening, electrical engineering, carpentry, anything we can get our hands on. There we go. Thanks for watching. Peace.